Hi everyone, I'm Laurentio and welcome to the first volume of LEGO games I found for Java. LEGO Brick Breaker is amazing. It's a Brick Breaker game, but there's more to it than just a typical Brick Breaker game. This one has a plot. You have to save your LEGO people. And along the way, not only that you save and attack LEGO people, but you also get boss battles. And about the Brick Breaking which is the most important part, because it's a Brick Breaker game. It's amazing. It's exactly what you would expect from a Brick Breaker game on Java. You move the ball, destroy stuff, get power-ups like a bigger paddle, multi-balls or a paddle gun. And you can also get curse um, power-ups, or well not power-ups because power-ups usually help you. Anyway, you get curses, like a smaller paddle, a s slower paddle or losing a life. Lives are indicated by these small balls in the corner. If you lose them, if you lose all of them, you restart the level with only one life. The levels are split into four distinct locations and overall, it's an amazing game I totally recommend you play. It's a brick breaker game with a plot, where you get even boss battles, how crazy is that? And the brick breaking part plays like it should. Lego Star Wars 1 and 2 look cute, but they get boring pretty fast. I don't know how to describe it. The games aren't broken, it's just that they get dull. In the first one you can destroy stuff and collect studs, you can hit enemies with your lightsaber and use the force to push objects around, but all of this gets boring, even if, on paper, everything sounds good and cool. But that doesn't mean that you can try the game. I'm not an authority in saying what game is good and what is not. It's up to you if you like a game or not. It's just that even if Anakin is a one-man army that slices a whole bunch of enemies, the game got dull after a while. And the mechanics in the second one are like in a usual LEGO game. You switch characters, use blasters, switch characters to unlock doors, build stuff, collect studs, but somehow, even if it's the same game formula translated on Java, here the formula isn't as fun. I suggest you give it a try though and see for yourself. And if you do, please comment below what you think about the games. Maybe it's just me who found the game style. LEGO Racers is an isometric kart racer that has 5 tracks and 5 characters. It's the basic stuff you get on Java with a game of this sort. Insisting on this review will make me just tell you stuff that will make you roll your eyes of how obvious the information is. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna get into this review. Just know that it's your basic isometric Java kart racer with 5 tracks and 5 characters. Lego Batman the movie game is amazing. It's one of the games I played the most on Java. When I was in middle school, I used to finish this game so often that I was learning each quirk of a level like the back of my hand. The game is a 2D platformer. It's really short, you can finish it in around 40 minutes, but man is it fun. No matter how many times I used to finish it, I always wanted to replay it again. The controls are amazing, there's not that much variety in gameplay, but still, it's a lot of fun. Oh, and also, just know that there is a newer version of LEGO Batman, which came in 2011 and looks like this. It's superior to the one I used to play and replay in middle school, and this one feels more like a LEGO game when you play it. It has most of the game mechanics from the big version, which is impressive for a Java game, so check it out. It's amazing to see that Gameloft managed to integrate the LEGO formula on Java and make it feel as if you're playing a big version. Bionicle Defender is a tower defense game, and it's what you would expect from a tower defense game. By killing enemies you get money, and with that money you buy a battle defense tool. If you're into this type of games and like what you see in the video, check it out. And this was the first volume of LEGO games for Java. If you want to see the second volume, just click on the thumbnail which should appear on the screen about now. Thanks for watching!